Hi everyone, you want to do something fun? You want to look at my Toki Doki doll with me? She's not the purple haired one that was platinum, that was super hard to get. I tried, I failed. Um, but she's still super cute. She has the Carl face. It originated with a Carl Lagerfield doll. And I think she's the first doll after that to have that face. The purple platinum doll had the same face, but I think she had a lighter skin tone. And the other doll I have with the same face mold, if you're interested, is my Far Away Forest Water Sprite doll. Can you see how their makeup and skin tone is definitely different, but their mold their sculpt is the same. So when I got her, I had to give her a hot water treatment because her hair had a big crimp in it. It didn't come out entirely, but it's a lot better than it was. And you can see how her hair is blonde in the back behind her head, but all the way around the outside is pink. And she comes with these donuts, donut headband. How fun is that? Don't you wish you had a donut headband? She also comes with a cactus headband that is also super cute. I like the donuts better, I think. I like to put these in her bag and pretend like she just bought them. She bought them, but they didn't put it in the bag very well at the store. Shame, shame, shame. Let's take a closer look at these tattoos. She has a lot of them. They are very detailed, colorful. And she has her little bracelets. Toki Toki has these characters that pop up over and over. And you can read all about them. And her makeup is really pretty. She has a little bit of glitter on her eyelashes. And can you see her lips on my doll? Kind of, kind of sloppy, Barbie. You do a better job applying your makeup in the morning. Okay, so her, she has a little belt, which is super cute. And she has all these characters on her skirt. And then a little character on her bracelet. A simple silver clutch. And then she has these shoes. One of the dolls in the look collection also has these shoes, but this is the first time we see them. And she has a little cactus friend who is really cute and comes with a little chain, a little bag with a tissue paper and a pink manicure. Where'd her hand go? There it is. And if you can see, we'll show you her shoes again. Her feet, her toes have white manicure. Let's take a better look at this dress. She has this kind of tulle underskirt and in the back her belt is attached to her skirt. sequin top is attached to her kick pants. And now we can take a look at this tattoo on her back. It goes down really low and it is stunning. It looks 
looks like there was a volcano that erupted in frosting and sprinkles. That's my kind of volcano. The sequin top is reminding me a little bit of Day to Night Barbie from the 80s, just because it's shiny and it snaps, and I just got the feeling of that, that top while I was snapping it up. And I think it's also a, a unitard, a leotard. Okay, and then her bracelet faces the front. It's kind of, they, they used one of those uh, plastic bands to force it to face the front because they're thinking you're not gonna unbox this doll and you're gonna miss this cute detail if it's facing the way you would have it if you were a human and not a doll. So there she is. Trying to make sure the stand doesn't grab her. And she's having a lot of fun, isn't she? What do you think of her? Do you have her? Do you enjoy having her in your collection as much as I do? She's one, I think, one of the one of the funnest dolls. And don't worry, I'll make a video of the water sprite doll. Okay. All right. Happy collecting. Thanks for watching. Bye.